Today we are going to check the manual gain tuning. Um, this is one of the hardest parts to explain how and why, because uh, mm, it has a lot of variables based on the machine, application, or the way of install. Sometimes uh, even field engineers can't recognize what the problem is. However, I believe that if a user knows some know-how and knowledge, it will be much easier to make better solutions. Today, I'm going to introduce some frequently used parameters out of various gain adjustment parameters. Although, uh, although we don't guarantee that this way will work for every situation, we believe that this can give you the guideline for better gain tuning procedure. Uh, this is a simple diagram for controller. Basically, we have uh, three kinds of controllers, as you know. Uh, the first one is the position controller, second is the speed, and third, third is about the torque controller. In case of a position control mode, we need to set the parameters for position, speed, and the torque. However, if you use the speed control mode, you don't have to set the parameters which belong to position controller. And regarding torque control mode, some parameters um, which are related with uh, torque are required to be set. Mm, I would like to introduce uh, several game values and uh, functions of them. They are mainly used for manual tuning and I would like to introduce the simple function of this. And I will show you the example of setting because the checking graph is much better to see what happens when we set this game. Uh, first, the proportional gain. Sometimes we call it P gain and the loop gain. This is to determine the speed to reach the command value. And the higher value, the faster response, like this. Uh, this is the curve of a high P gain. Uh, see this. And this is the point where it reaches the command value with high P gain. However, this is the another point where it reaches with low P gain. They have a different slope of the reaching command, and uh, as a result, they have a time difference like this. So, as you see, the higher proportion again faster response you have checked in this curve and uh, the proportion again uh, prevents some overshoot when the when the, the user used the position control mode and this is the example of P gain application the only difference between them is a value of P gain First, 25 hertz, second is 50, 100, 200. The higher value of P gain, you can see the time to reach the command velocity is shortened. Uh, this kind of features uh, is the function of P gain.
this is the time difference. This one, and then when it 100, like this. There is the uh, largest gap between the command value and the and the actual value. However, let's see the two hundred. There is big difference between the twenty five hertz and the two hundred hertz. And we need to check also this point. Or sometimes uh, overshoot occurred. Uh, let's see the the integral again. This is to set the command tracking of a steady state error. Command tracking of steady state error. So if the value is too high, the overshoot occurred. And uh, for L7 series, the integral time constant is used instead of uh, variable integral gain. So let's see the graph. So we have the input very low value of the uh, integral time constant. So it means high integral gain. And then uh, if we input the high value as a uh, integral time constant, that means low high gain. That's why the offset occurred in this point, at this point. And as you see, there is some deviation like this. And, uh, this one here also. But by setting integral time constant, we can eliminate this deviation by setting appropriate integral time constant. So we made a speed integral time constant test. Uh, what we have to check in this chart is the value of integral time constant and the command tracking characteristic. We have got five millisec and 20 millisec, 50, 200. Uh, 5 millisec is the lowest time constant in this test, uh, which means the high value of integral gain, and the 200 millisec is the lowest value of I gain. Because uh, 5 millisec is the high value of I gain, the offset occurred, as you see here. In the, let's see, the 200 millisec case. The offset. They have different curve like this. There is no offset because this is uh, the low value of I gain. 
and uh, this is the characteristic of a uh, integral time constant. And the difference of p gain and i gain is like this. A speed proportional gain. Uh, it is uh, related to system's response time, and uh, if the value is higher, system response will be faster. And if it is too high, overset or oscillation might occur. And uh, speed integral time constant. The deviation in steady state. Thing like uh, this deviation uh, the deviation is state state it is uh, adjusted by uh, integral gain and but if it's uh, too high overset or oscillation might occur Uh, inertial gain. This is the most frequently used gain and the very essential one for manual gain tuning. Uh, if this value is not set in acceptable range, setting of other parameters doesn't work in appropriate way. So I recommend the user set the inertial value first when drive uh, is required for manu manual tuning. The example of a recommended value is like this. In case of size from 40 to 80 French, the setting range is categorized to three kinds. First one is low and the middle, high. Basically, inertial ratio is set by the ratio between load and motor inertia value. If this value is middle, The gain values like uh, position loop gain, speed loop gain, and uh, speed integral time constant. They should be in the range like this, and this one, and uh, this one. Uh, however, this is the only the uh, the general recommendation because uh, there are diverse variables for manual gain tuning. In some circumstances, um, this might not work really well. Another gain we need to check is feed-forward gain. Uh, it determines the lag characteristics of motor operation, as you see the chart. The deviation is also reduced by this setting. Uh, the deviation is the yellow one, and uh, this one is uh, zero, fifty, and one hundred percent. The deviation is decreased uh, to decrease deviation between command and the actual value. You can see in the graph. And uh, uh, this gain, uh, the gain, this gain setting is very useful for system, which is not possible to use uh, to increase the gain of speed control. And uh, and uh, um, if user has set uh, the appropriate value of inertia setting, uh, fit for the gain value is required to be set at 100%, like in this case. So by setting this value, we can uh, reduce the deviation between command value and the feedback, like this. Uh, this is used for smooth, smooth operation of a motor to get the target. Um, especially when the electric gear is uh, more than 10 times and the upper controller doesn't have uh, the function to acceleration and the deceleration speed profile. 
these parameters like uh, command filter and the command average filter they are very useful uh, this is the curve for low pass filter application as you see uh, uh, mm, the black one is the command command and the blue one is the feedback but much uh, very they have very different like uh, very smooth and uh, moving average filter application you see it operates uh, smoothly by filter mm, black one is uh, command and the blue one is feedback and the parameters for this is 210A and uh, 2109